Hello guys, welcome to the next session of implementing CRUD operations using Spring Boot version 3. In the last session, we discussed on how we can create our very first API in order to save the employee details into the database table. In this session, we are going to see how we can create one new API so that we can get all the saved details from the database table. So let's see how we can do this. So in order to do this, what we have to do, we have to like we are going to create two APIs. First API will be to get all the details which we have saved into the tables and second API will be if you just want to like fetch a specific uh, record based on the ID then we are going to create one separate API for that. So first of all let's see how we can create API in order to like get all the employee details like whatever number of employees saved let's see how we can retrieve it in a one shot. So we have to use public as of now I'm just going to keep it as a void then I'm just going to give the name as get employees something like this it will not take anything as a parameter so we have to just use the mapping as get mapping and then we have to give the path as maybe slash get slash employees something like this the next thing that we have to do is we have to create a similar method inside our uh, service so let me just go to the employee service and we have to add public as of now again let me just keep it as a void let me just give the method name as get employees again it will not take anything as a parameter then we have to use employee dao dot find all so find all will basically return us all the details which we have saved into the table so this particular find all uh, returns us the iterable but what we can just do we can just return the list so in order to do this we have to like first of all create one empty list of employee is equals to new array list something like this and after the find all what we can just do we can just use a for each and then we can just use a lambda expression we can just use employees dot add e something like this and we can maybe change it to the uh, method references so if you just want you can just change it to the method references and lastly we have to like return employees something like this now as we are going to return the employees we have to like change the return type to the list of employees so let me just use list of employee and then let me just go to the controller and over here what we have to do we have to like use uh, employee service dot get employees and then we have to like return those details again we have to change the return type to the list of employee something like this so this is how we can create our first APIs to get all the employee details. Now let's see how we can create this separate API so that we can um, like get a specific employee details based on the ID. So again, we have to just create public as of now. Let me just again keep it as a void and then let me just make it as get employee. And this time let me just add one parameter which is of type integer which is nothing but employee id something like this then we have to add uh, get mapping so let me just use add the rate get mapping and then we have to pass slash get slash employee and this time we have to add one more path variable so path variable will be the employee id so let me just use employee id make sure it is exactly same as your variable name that you have used over here and then as we are going to take this employee id from the path we have to use one annotation which is nothing but at the rate path variable something like this and now let me just save these changes the next thing that we have to do we have to like create a similar method inside our service so let me just go inside this service and let me just use public as of now again let me just keep it as a void get employees and then this time we have to add one parameter which is like integer employee 
id and then what we have to do we have to just use employee dao dot find by id then we have to pass the employee id and this find by id basically returns us the optional so what we have to do we have to just use dot or else throw so this or else throw basically what it will do it will like uh, basically check if employee id or if employee details are present if it is present then it will return the employee id if it is not present then it will just throw the exception so th that 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 is the reason we have added this or else throw now we are getting a red line over here the reason is we have to change the return type to the employee something like this and now let me just go to the controller we have to just use employee service dot get employees and then we have to pass our employee id something like this and then we have to return those details as a response again we have changed the return type to the employee something like this and now let me just save all these changes let me just restart the application and make sure that the value of value of uh, this particular property spring.jpa.hibernate ddl auto is to update otherwise you will lost all your data so let me just restart the application let's see what happens whether we are able to get the response or not so now application is started on 9090 port in order to test this we have to go to the postman and then first of all uh, let me just check do we have any details inside the table or not so as of now i have only one record in inside my employee table let me just add one more record so that it will be helpful for us to test the apis so let me just change uh, the employee name little bit to the maybe uh, let's see amit and then let me just change some other details something like this and now let me just save these changes now we have saved these changes let me just go to the table let me just refresh it and yes we are able to get uh, two records over here now if i just add one new tab and if i just use http colon slash slash localhost colon 9090 then we have to use the api slash so first of all let me just use the api slash get slash employee this employee should uh, this api should return us all the employee details so let me just click on send and yes if you just see now we are getting the two records over here if we have multiple records maybe 10 20 100 all the records you will be getting as a response with the help of this particular api now we have created one more api so that we can get a specific record let me just uh, copy and paste the url and let me just give slash and then we have to pass the employee id so we have to pass the employee id so we have employee id one over here and let me just keep it as a get mapping let me just click on send now if you just see we are getting like only one specific record and if you just give the wrong employee id let's see what happens this particular employee id is not present into the table let's see what happens in that case if you just see it will be throwing some exception something like this the reason is we have used uh, or else throw over here so if you just see we have used or else throw over here that is the reason it is throwing the exception so this is how we can create the apis in order to fetch the records from the table if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case i hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in the next session